Today, I'm going to show you how to make this really cool, relatively quick and simple toy castle. We're going to need an empty tissue box like this. And we'll start by cutting the top off. We'll also need some cardboard rolls. I'm using this one from a roll of kitchen paper. But you could of course use loo rolls or leftover wrapping paper rolls. Stand it up alongside of the tissue box and you can see it's going to be tall enough to make two turrets. So I measured it and drew markers down the centre. Then used some scissors to cut it in half. To fit these to the castle wall, we need to cut some vertical slices the depth of the tissue box. So I put a couple of markers on the roll and used my scissors again to make the slice. Then I rotated the roll about 90 degrees and did exactly the same again. This is now going to slide over the corner of the box like this to hold it in place. Remove it for a minute and use your scissors to cut a series of slices around the top. Fold these over to make some crenellations. That's the name for the stone pillars along the top of a castle wall. And cut off the folded over tabs. Next we're going to place it on a flat piece of card, draw around it and cut out a cardboard disc. Slide this down inside the top like this and I'm using a glue gun to hold it in place. And finally I'm using a sharp knife to carefully cut an arrow slit window in the side. We want to make four of these in total. I've cut two arrow slits in the turrets for the front of the castle and we can now fit them to the tissue box. Next I used my scissors again to make more crenellations along the castle wall. I did all four sides and cut off the folds. And it's really starting to take shape. I drew on a drawbridge door and cut it out, leaving it connected at the bottom. Then to fix any wobble on the turrets, I glued them in place too. Once I'd finished, it started to feel pretty robust. And the next thing is to paint it. So I put it on a piece of card, squeezed out some black paint and some white and mixed them to make grey. Then I worked my way around painting the entire castle. I did the walls, the crenellations and the turrets. I even did the inside of the top of the turrets too. Then I mixed a little bit more black into the grey paint and used it to paint some darker textures onto the walls like this. I worked my way all around and I found I had enough paint to do the inside of the walls too. For the drawbridge door I'm using brown mixed with a bit of black to give a wood effect. 
I painted the outside and the inside. And I left it all to dry. After an hour or so, there's our project finished. Pretty castle, huh? You can open or close the drawbridge door and add whatever figures you want to play with. I thought it works really well with Lego Men. You could put the whole thing on a Lego base or adapt it in any way you like. I built mine up to have a blue Lego moat around it. I put figures in the turrets and on the castle wall, more on the grounds out the front and trying to get through the drawbridge. Every castle needs a flag and of course a jester. And here we've got Lego Batman trying to scale the walls. You can get creative and do as much as you like with it. What modifications would you do to the castle? And if you'd like to see me make a bigger, more complex castle, you can let me know in the comments below. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. If you want to see more, you can click on the links or take a look at my YouTube channel page. Stay safe, have fun, and as always, thanks for watching.